Hello, I received this nice telephone dialogue from Adrian. Thank you so much, my friend. Here on the side stand uh, Telephone Sperrschloss. This means no emissions violations. But on this side, made in Germany, so we can't be sure. Get it out. Working keys. Really a nice, sweet lock. So, how it works. The cam on the back of the lock uh, is off center, as you can see. You put it on the dialer, on the telephone, and so it's not possible to dial. But not possible. Um, the thing was, you could dial any number with the switch hook. Uh, for example, say your phone is locked up, but you want to call 540, all you have to do is lift the receiver and start tapping the hook fast five times, one, two, three, four, five, and half second pause. And then four times, and for zero, you need 10 times to tap. That was very easy. And um, before I start picking this lock, uh, let us see how old this lock might be. How can I determine the age of the lock? On the web page from the Zeiss Econ Museum is a list with all Zeiss Econ logos and their date. So I will compare. You see here the straight line, so I know this lock is made in the 70s. The link to the museum I will show in the description. So now I clamped it up. Uh, the main problem of this lock is the restricted keyway. Mm, I will use a tension wrench from Hugo Mattel. Hopefully I pronounced the name right. Uh, he gave these tension wrenches to me and they work really really fine. I get a very very good feedback. Thank you my friend. Um, and as big I use this thin half diamond. Uh, I was able to open it a few times by single pin picking, but not always. Slight tension. And I have to pick around this corner. It's really not so easy. These are only three pins, no security pins, security pins, but It worked on camera. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And to open it faster, I found out um, that rocking is high. a good possibility. I go to the end, light tension, and open. Thank you for your time, and bye.